everybody, my name is Russ, that is Lauren, and this is our Thursday music discussion video. If you are usually on the channel for the reactions on Saturday or uh, the vinyl videos on Sunday, we greatly appreciate you stopping by for our midweek video. Uh, to be honest, this is uh, the videos kind of we started the channel for is, uh, is this type of music discussion. Uh, I know you hear this in every single video, you know, make sure to hit the like button and hit those. It really does help like a lot. So if you're watching this and you're a regular viewer of the channel and you're not subscribed, uh, not only hit the subscribe, subscribe button, but also please hit the notification bell. Uh, we've had people leave comments and be like, I didn't know you guys were still putting out videos. Like literally people. And I'm like, yep, nope, three every week. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, so you got to hit the notification bell. And then this is sounds so silly, but if you do hit the like button, I swear it really helps out uh, the channel a great deal. So please do that as well. Uh, today is a, I want to say this was a viewer. Reference. It was, yeah. it was, yes. And you, you gave it to me. Yes. Our uh, five songs to start with series. Uh, a lot of times, and especially with a band like this, Toto was a huge band in the early 80s, really all the way through the mid 80s, um, under their own name. And they did a lot of work, uh, session work that was amazing as well. Uh, but really because of uh, bands like Weezer and the resurgence of, um, I wouldn't call it Toto Yacht Rock, but because of the resurgence of Yacht Rock bands like that get more attention so if you are a person who's always heard of toto or maybe like like lauren you go you went to the uh ringo show and you see steve lukather and you're like oh i should look more into toto you know mm -hmm. that's what this series is about um this series though is different from our hidden gems series where uh us like the biggest hits would never enter into hidden gems for obvious reasons uh, but with this we may pick songs where you roll your eyes and you're like, well, yeah. Yeah. But also just because you know that song really well doesn't mean that someone who's only heard, you know, stuff at the bar or another band covering them has ever heard. Right. So take us through it, Lauren, and share with us five songs to start with from the band Toto. Well, first of all, I had a very difficult time with this, and I want to stop everybody right there by saying I did this fully expecting everybody to have heard Africa. Yeah, especially within the yeah. last. Yeah, so that's, yeah. yes. Just say uh, uh, Africa is 5.1. Yeah, Africa is absolutely a quintessential Toto track. And if you happen to be watching this and you haven't heard Africa, fix your life. Yeah. And go do that. But uh, but I would argue the first one that you have listed, for me, if someone was to go, I've never heard Toto, what's the big deal? This is the first song I would say. Sure, yeah, yeah. It's um, I'm opening this list off with Rosanna from the Toto 4 album. Carl and Shuffle for the win. That and two out of two Steve's agree that this is the yeah. ultimate Toto ah, track. Yeah. Um, yeah, Steve Picaro and Steve Lukather both have been quoted as saying that this is the ultimate Toto track because everybody is firing on all cylinders on this on this track. You've got you've got Lukather and um, Bobby Kimball switching out on lead vocal on this, mm -hmm. which is great because you don't know you don't know where it's going. I, this is gonna I'm gonna go way too far with this, but I've always loved later in it the uh, I think it's the not quite a year since you've been away where it's not almost like uh, like yeah where it's like doo wop ish. It's like it's like like because yeah. when I was a little kid I had heard that and like uh, uh, what's the other one uh, longest time at Billy Joel mm. at the same time yep. and I was like oh man y'all are doing like cool vocal stuff but yeah. Really, but yeah like you said that's like a minor part in such a big yeah because you're right you know I mean the, the the shuffle the 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 lyrics the video like this whole thing this is if you know this is Toto and if you think the Picaro shuffle isn't that big of a deal like if because I by the way I don't claim to be a drummer at all I can I can play some drums but I don't claim to be a drummer uh after this video is over type in the Picaro shuffle on YouTube and watch everyone fail at, at yeah Acting like they're doing uh -huh. it correctly when they are absolutely they're not. Yeah. I mean, and this we're I'm not going to digress uh, too too far. But if you're here on on YouTube, there's a great live performance of Toto from '91 at Montro doing mm -hmm. um, Rosanna, and um, <laughs> the Picaro starts the thing with a cigarette in his mouth and he's hanging there and he's doing the shuffle. Mm -hmm. And there was a comment on it that was like, "You may think you're cool, but you're not yeah, Picaro with a cigarette praying Rock Rosanna yeah, cool." Absolutely, <laughs> so great. Uh, so that is the only one I believe to be uh, an obvious choice, mm -hmm. and then the rest of these I think are great ideas for even if you're a total fan i think these are great songs to revisit yeah like you you talked recently about your um your kind of mindset when you're putting these five songs to start with lists together and i i think i approach it a little differently island i when i do this i like to make sure that i cover 
as much of a swath of the kind of the band's like overall. Uh, yeah, and that's possible too. A lot of times when I do it, it's more like, uh, well, a lot of this band stuff sounds the same. So mm-hmm. here's, the, you know what I mean? Yeah, here's the. But yeah, like Toto has a lot of different sounds. Yeah. That I think people aren't familiar. So with. I tried to like hit as many uh, as I could. So the next one is from the Toto album. Uh, it's called "I'll Supply the Love," and this is. Uh, in my mind, one of Bobby Kimball's best vocals with the band, um, the fact like that they are notes that most men would have to falsetto, and he is full, Just full, full, full oh my god! And there's a fun driving disco beat in this song too, and like they as a band, Jeff you know, Carl strikes again. Yep, and they as a band just sound so tight on this, and mm-hmm. like this is the, their first album, and I was like, well, this is just cool as heck. Yeah, yeah, I I agree. Now the next one is very. Uh, very funny title, but it's a great, great, great title. Yeah, Georgie Porgy, also from the Toto album. This has a little tiny baby Steve Lukather on lead vocal yeah, on this great. on this, and um, the chorus of it is actually by um, sung by Cheryl Lynn, mm-hmm. who we you would know is that got to be real. I was going to say if you don't know who that is, to be real. real. Yeah, that's yeah, all and that she does the whole. Her. The whole chorus, Georgie, Porgy, and it, like then Toto is being like funky yeah. behind this whole thing happening. It, the fact that this is on the same album as I'll Supply the Love, mm. and it sounds like Toto, but these songs are they could not be more different in yeah, my mind. Which it's is great, awesome. Yeah, uh, you are. <laughs> I'm looking at and laughing at your notes on this next one, but the next track that you have is called I'll Be Over You. Mm-hmm. And uh, and please, by all means, read your notes first and then go from there. Uh, the Michael McDonald of it all. <laughs> yeah. He appears in the video. You know, this is mid 80s. Um, you got to kind of have Michael McDonald, I guess, if you're this is a is a ballad, right? I was going to ask because I'm not overly familiar with this track and I didn't get a chance to listen to it before we shot this video. And I wasn't sure if it was bouncy. uh uh, Doobie Brothers ish Michael McDowell. No, uh, this is a ballad. ballad. This is a ballad. I mean, this is this is Toto absolutely capitalizing on what other bands of that ilk were doing at the time. This is very like, um, this this holds up right there with the ballads that Chicago was putting uh, yeah, out at the time. Yeah. This is very much that 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 kind of thing. Right on. Uh, but I, I, you you got to hear it. And again, that same '91 Montro show, um, they do this track as well. And Steve Lukather's there and like a. Cut off sleeve tie dye shirt jeans, just singing this song. As, I'm like, as one does, yeah. I'm like, okay, sir. Uh, the last song that you have on the list is uh, a different vocalist than most mm-hmm. people are used to, but I also like that too. Sometimes, like, it was something like Van Halen, their catalogs are big enough to where I did uh, separate videos on Sammy and Dave. Uh, but uh, I do like when somebody, like, somebody like Black Sabbath, like, there's more than just even Dio and. Ozzy, there's other vocalists mm-hmm. that are around, and I think it's a good idea to touch those bases as well. Yeah, so I'm hitting a song off of the seventh one. Um, it's called Pamela, and uh, it, Joseph Williams is on lead vocals mm-hmm. here. And anytime, if you fall into a, a Toto rabbit hole on YouTube or anywhere on the internet, any of the John, um, not John, say Joseph Williams mm-hmm. um, era Toto, somebody's going to leave a comment saying, most people don't remember that this is John Williams' son. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, huh, huh. So then I find myself digging in a little further because his voice sounded familiar to mm-hmm. me and not just from Toto. This is a great, like, 80s pop song. The The chorus is great, and he hits some, again, really high notes. So you could tell he's kind of filling those Bobby Kimball shoes with those right. full-throated high notes. Yeah. Joseph Williams was the singing voice of adult Simba in The Lion King. Oh, right on. And here we are accidentally yeah, this is literally in our Lion accident. King shirts We're today. King I'm like, I can feel the love tonight. Like, That's this great. is great. So, yeah. yeah, check out Pamela. The It's a really, really fun song. There's um, some great solo work that happens in it, like a really cool synth solo. Um, and this is just as tight and cool and fun as Rosanna. I like that I'm opened and closed with lady name song that are both yeah, yeah, no kind care. of Toto being tight, doing really cool Toto things. Right on. Uh, so those are the first five songs that Lauren would tell you to listen to. Like there was like a side of Africa in there, but really the first five songs that you should listen to. Uh, if you're a Toto fan, by all means, drop a comment and let us know what you think, first of all, of Lauren's picks. Uh, and then also say to us, you know, like, hey, I totally wouldn't have included Rosanna. I would have included totally. this or, Okay, good one. 
Uh, but that like that matters. I know at the beginning of the video, we're always like, hey, make sure to hit the like button and all that stuff. But like uh, also comments help a great deal. And, and even if it didn't, comments didn't help the algorithm or whatever, like that's what we care more about is the discussion on the videos. Mm -hmm. So please, by all means, drop a comment on there. Once again, that is Lauren. My name is Russ. We have three videos every single week. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. And as we always say, thank you so much for watching.